Lieutenant Gordon, please report to the bridge. Hey, good morning, Captain. Where's Officer Kinley and the others? They're still in their cryopods, but it's alright. I only need you this this morning. So what are we doing? Well, we have direct orders from command. We gotta drop off those cargo containers we picked up. A few light years back over at this Federation supply station or whatever. They won't even tell me what's in these cargo containers. Apparently it's top secret. Something I can't even know about. They don't even tell you what's in the damn torpedoes? I mean, cargo containers? <sighs> Sit down, Scotty. All right, let's get this show on the road. Open hailing frequencies. Opening hailing frequency now, and no response. Is there anyone on the station? Give me a second, and I will check. And that's a negative, Rider Ghost. Oh, Christ, you know you said that line wrong, right? That's a ghost negative, Rider? Okay, you know what? So, no, there is no one alive on the station. Whoa! Who said anything about people dying? Okay, no, what? I, I, fine, there is no one on the station. No, there are no life signs on the station. Thank you. Progress, people. We are making progress. Ooh. 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 What is it? That's a significant radiation leak. Must be from the reactor. Uh, how, how bad is it? On enough to garner an evacuation. Can we can we see anything? Does it, how does it look like it happened? Okay. That's a significant it? amount of arms fire. You mean they were attacked? Yeah, this station's been trashed. Shit. Okay. Uh, op open a secure channel to command. We gotta inform them of this situation here. Opening channel now. Something's jamming our signal. Okay, we we got we got to get out of here, right? Shit! Weapons lock. Weapons lock. Red alert! Raise the shields. Where's this weapon lock coming from? Find I don't it. See anything? Yep. Wait. Enemy ship decloaking. Port side. Target all weapons on that craft. Yes, sir. Sir, weapons locked and ready. Fire. So let's talk about this. What, <laughs> what do you think about the mod overall? What do you, what do you think about it? It? I, it was fucking great, actually. I think it's really cool because they had that it, one mod that simulated energy shielding, and it was almost like adding an extra layer. You know what I'm talking oh, about? It that, was the blue that, that grid. One was okay, let me just throw in my two cents. The reason I hate heavy armor is because it is stupid broken, and that's also what I didn't like about that mod. However, the fact that you need so much damn power for these shield generators completely balances it. Yeah, it is pretty insane. I mean, the amount of power needed, and you... Here, let's, let me let's just show just, you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, yeah, open you, up the... Uh, it's open pretty up crazy. Open bay here. <laughs> you know, here, let's just cut this, this thing in half. Yeah, this thing... This, this used to be empty, all right? And unfortunately, it's not empty anymore. 
but yeah, as you can see, we added a plethora of generators and we even had to get mods to add even more power. We didn't have the space to do it on, you know, your standard vanilla um, space engineers reactors. As you can see, you've got all of these nuclear reactors. Just all of them. It, it was insane. It really was. And they did use a lot of power. That's what I was surprised at at first. I didn't really read how much power they were using um, on the mod page. But, I mean, I don't know. I put like five or six down. And, and the, it still didn't work. Yeah, the red ship shut off. And it was shocking. But yeah, we had to use mods for this. I mean, we weren't getting enough power at all. And this thing is just loaded out the wazoo with reactors. It's crazy. But I do like... Oh, yeah, we got we got those in the back there. Yeah. As well as another um, mod reactor there. But I, I do agree with Thomas. I like the mod. I think it... The fact that it needs so much power kind of balances it out. So, I don't know. I like it. I thought it was cool. Um, as you can see here, though, you have this ship w without any shielding. A and this is what we showed in the footage before, and I'll play it again here um, for you guys. But you, as you can see, the bridge is just destroyed almost instantly. Same with uh, same with one of the nacelles. One of the nacelles on the back was pretty banged up from those shots. And, you know, in combat, that's really going to slow you down. So using these shields is just such a... Just has such a big benefit. And, and the way these shields work is they protect everything on the same um, grid as itself. So the same horizontal and vertical grid as itself. Um, I'd also use... like to point out that during that ram, if nobody noticed, this thing took no damage from that ram. Yeah, the, no damage at all. And what's interesting, and I don't know, Thomas, did you go through and have it set so it will show how much shielding is left? No, I didn't. These have to recharge, and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys how you would go about recharging them. So, once you're looking in here, you scroll down till you find your shield generator. And we'll use just shield generator 18. And what you do, you put a colon, not a semicolon, colon after it, and you'll see the charge of the shield generator. So you got 130,000 out of 130,000. Yeah. And the more you stack on that grid, the higher that number gets. And I, I um, forget. I didn't realize that you put like three rows of shield generators back here. Yes, I put a lot there. All right. Okay. Yeah, so the more you stack on that same grid, the the more protection you're going to get. And like Thomas said, he just realized I stacked a bunch. I was that my thinking was I wanted the bridge to be one of the most heavily protected areas of the ship. So you've got from the bridge down to kind of mid-engineering section in the yeah, back no, is just stacked me, uh, to like 5. I'm going to um, that this, provides this, a ton of protection. You, really the real way you want to build this is just put like pylons. Yeah, if you have a stack of those, everything on the grid, and actually a visual representation will probably help a little bit. So the way you see it here, yeah, just do pylons like that. And everything on this grid, oh. so everything in red here, all the way up. We don't we don't have enough energy for three more pylons. Oh well. But everything right here, all that red, that's protected right now. Same if I were to go um I wonder Over on this axis all that's protected now I did notice there is a block limit to kind of how far not. I repeat do not I don't blo did you blow them up with warheads yeah okay we crashed sorry about that we we crashed I was in the middle of talking about the block limit he's gonna stack some more up so I can show the grid again but I all do right, think I, right. I do believe there's heads a block up. limit heads up do not Use a warhead to test their strength. Not a good idea. All right. So like I was saying, I think there is a block limit. And let me get my grinder out here. So I'm grind away at some of this. And I'm not sure if I hit it. Okay, I haven't hit it yet. Um, because I was testing earlier. So maybe... How many blocks is this? There's 20, so let's go. Let's go out 39, just just for funsies. 
Where did you get 39 from? Okay, Out well that's curiosity. interesting. I was just placing blocks. Let me see. I because yeah, I, no, I, I swear when I uh, tested this on one of the worlds there was a block limit. I could be Looking completely wrong. Okay, yeah, there there's no way there's a block limit. It's it's way longer than what it was. So it doesn't look like there's a block limit on it at all. Um, there is a charge though. On the are you testing it again still? Yeah, no. Yeah, there's no block limit. So. I guess I was wrong. I take that back. There is no block limit. So the way it looks is that you can have your ship be as big as possible, have one big pylon in the center of it, and be fine. But like I said, the more of these you stack up on the same grid, the more protection it's going to do for the blocks on that grid. So having, I mean, having some sort of cross-shaped pylon might be really good. That will for probably very help out a lot. Sections? Yeah. yeah, for important sections. Maybe you want to protect your engineering section, so the engineering or section has a cross shape. The bridge or, has a cross... Uh, or not something a cross, something but like uh, this, when you have, like, reactors. Yeah, and you do a cross shape there, and you're... I mean, you're gonna... That's H, but whatever. H. Sorry. An H section. Yeah, but, like I said, you are gonna protect those reactors more than, uh, say, something like up here. Now, the block on top of here is going to be pretty tough. Uh, the blocks on, t on the top and the bottom of the pylons are going to be really tough. Um, just because, I mean, it, and, it, and it all depends on how tall the pylon is. It all depends on how big your ship is. Now, currently, they do not. They do not have a small ship version of this. But, the way I understand it from him, he is working on one, which is really cool. I would love to see this implemented on small ships. I like it being on large ships, and I'm interested to see how power handling is going to be on smaller ships. Oh, that's going to blow. It's going to be... I'm thinking it's going to be pretty crazy. I, I really am, because these larger ships, you have a lot of room for reactors, but smaller ships, you want to get a, yeah. you want to get away with as few reactors as possible. So It has a lot of room for reactors. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I'm just, you know, I'm just curious to see how it's going to turn out. So I hope you like this kind of review with the little skit in the beginning. I don't know, we tried on the skit. No storyboard, just kind of came up with it as we went. Also, uh, um, we tried. in the description, we're going to need, uh, need who made this orange ship and who made the Midnight Interceptor. As well the as the people as the, who as made the, the reactor mod, and then I will definitely list the shield mod in the description. Overall, out of 10, what would you rate this mod? A uh, 9. A 9? See, I'm thinking 8.5 or 9. I think it's really good. I like it. It's got a ton of potential, especially for smaller ships, too. That's what I'm really excited I'd, for. See how it works I'd, for honest, ships. I'd honestly give it a, a 9.5 or a 10 if it had its own custom block. Yeah, that would look that would look really nice if it wasn't the artificial mass. Uh, I think I agree with Thomas. That would look really nice if it was something else. Another thing that I was thinking maybe maybe it could be a, a field, maybe a shield generator or not not a shield okay. generator, a I gravity generator with a field that everything inside of it it protects. I don't know though. I don't I don't do space engineers mods, but I'm just throwing that out there. I just feel like maybe if it was a field. That would be really cool. So just a suggestion. If whoever wants, whoever created this is watching this, just Ellen, a suggestion. Um, I'll definitely send him the video, though. I want him to see this. Uh, kudos to him. Really good mod. 8.5 or 9 out of 10 from both of us. And we liked it. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video... I urge you to just hit the little red X, but if you can't do that, then just, I guess, just hit the little dislike button down below. Also, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button, help us out, and we'll see you guys in later. Are, are you avidly asking people to dislike the video? If they Absolutely. feel if that, like if that's disliking what it, If that's what they're into... If, go for it. Yeah, if that's if, what they yeah, want yeah, if, if, if I guess if that's cool with you guys. If bringing people to the brink of tears is what they like to do with their lives cry over this thomas i might cry over this then they can dislike the video you you severely <laughs> holy <laughs>
What the hell? Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye.